So the next thing you will do now is to what is to lock the two. Lock and uh, what and click the high high icon. The two. Hide it like that. Then back. Now what you will do now is to select a shape. This shape, click on it, select the shape, then spread it like this. I want to use my mark now. I want to use mark. I don't want this thing to be stop. So then click this. Now select your mark. So this one here. Select your mark. This is your mark. Select it. So now having select your mark like this, then put this one to go like this. Perfect. Then this arrow, draw it down like this. Draw the arrow down like this. So this one, click on it and then move it up a little bit. Then click enable this. Enable it. Then you have to click on house. Click on house. Then the next thing you will do is to click on this to copy it. And I can click. So the next thing you will do is to draw this one out. Then move this one a bit. Then move this one inside a bit. Then use your scale, this arrow, to make it okay. And I can use your arrow Use it to control it. And I can use it to control it well. So I'm using it to control it now. So having done that, the next thing is to what? That is to click. Uh, you click this mark. Done. So you back it because you can see this is it. So the next thing you will do now is to zoom it in and copy. Come to your sorry. Come to your copy. You click on this copy, copy, then place it here, give it a space, give it space, good, then merge it together, merge it together, then come here and give it color red, give it color red, so having done that, the next thing you will do now is to come and unhide this one and unlock it, so when you've done that, just match the two together the g and the d when you mark it together move it to this side and then click on what click on back so that you can be able to place the shape you got very well you click on back good then position this one very well position it well so for you to position because of this, the next thing you will do is to click on your crop, click on this crop, click on it, then the next thing is to click on this, click on this, then click mark, sorry, click this mark, good, then now it will give you an opportunity to position it well. You can be able to position it well. Okay, good. So now, what you will do now is to come to your stroke. Give that red stroke. Give it a stroke. Like this, then increase the stroke to 12. 12 is okay. Then you match everything together. Match it together. Then come to your color you will you click on it just enable it to cut it out you see just enable but you can watch you can do this process all together back it first then do that one so the next thing you will do is when you back it i want to stick uh design something here i want to cut this one out i want to cut it do a little trick here so click this then match it together with this one before you now enable the color eraser now click on color eraser now so enable it you see it has cut this one how to so the next thing you will now do click on this and come to your mask so click on your mask like this 
right click then i want to use this map to cut something out i want to use it to cut something out good then you click on this it will cut it out the next thing is to click on this and click it do you see it has gone but i want to bring it back copy when you copy then come to your mask again you click on your mask so when you click on your mask then you click on out click on out you see that point has come you know what that little one you cut out has come just place it because i want to give it another color you understand so for you you can't give it a color like that without attaching something to it so now we'll just put this test i will hide it like this then match it with that small one i cut out you do you see so when you give it a color like that it will work give it a color you see it you see it amazing you see how amazing it is very good I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. you see how amazing it is so now you now match everything together match them together so the next thing you will do now is to type deco deco graphic deco graphic then come to your what your phone then you select type you want create round regular with the font i need create See, you place it, position it to well, yeah? then bold it. Don't forget to what to use your relative pos relative position for the two to make it to be centralized. Understand? So, so after that, then type your slogan. My slogan is the power of touch. The power of touch. And let it be in capital letter. I maintain this particular font, but I boot it. Now you can now reduce this one, reduce it. So when you reduce it, then come to your to your spacing, space it like this. You can still reduce it, then space it to fit in. Good. <laughs> Paste it to a good so good 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 then let it come back come out come out a little bit good then use this one reduce the size a little bit reduce the size good so give this one color give it color just you highlight the one you want to give color to i give this one color black so i will highlight the graphic give it color red i give it sorry give this one color black then you highlight the graphic too to give it color red then this one you can give it color black give it color black then you have to click on your transparent background you match it together first look at the size then you match it together then you can now save it as what save it with ultra with transparent background now i'm moving to where i want to mock it up i will come to my chrome browser sorry i'll turn that before you come to your browser and click on photopia www.photopia.com sorry www.photopia.com so the next thing you will do now is to you make sure you click on your sorry make sure you make 
sure you keep click on your file click on your file like this if I do here then you click on open sorry sorry you click on your file then click on open click on open then click on download click on download so now I want to select my mock-up so you click on Z Archiver that I used to achieve uh, used to achieve it I will click on download then I will locate the file I set for it you see set of mock-up so I will click on PSD now wait for it to load now you see it has load it has load so click on lay click on lay then look at this logo here double click good then I did this one click on this so then you now click on your what sorry you click on click on file again click on file then click on file then click on open and please open and please then click on download click on download now i want to select what i want to select where i place my uh, 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 where i install my PSLR. you see i want to do that now